In this new phase of COVID here in Utah, surveillance of the virus in our wastewater has become an even more important tool. As new specialist Jed Bull shows us, each flush of the toilet provides COVID data in our communities at a time when so few people are getting tested. Since this tool was developed two years ago, wastewater surveillance of COVID-19 has become an early warning system. Right now, there are three sites in Utah that the program manager is keeping a close eye on. We collected our very first samples almost exactly two years ago. Utah and many other states regularly monitoring COVID-19 in wastewater. Infected people shed the virus in their waste and concentrations are measured in sewage samples at the inlet of 42 treatment plants statewide. That data provides an indicator of COVID-19 infection trends. We're testing by our estimation about 88% of the state's population twice per week. That's just not possible using something like individual tests. Like you just can't get that sort of coverage. Dr. Nathan LaCrosse, the program manager, tells me COVID-19 is in the low range statewide with the exception of eight sites trending up. At five of those, overall numbers remain low. At the treatment plants in Moab and Park City, he believes they are seeing higher concentrations due to travelers. We're out of winter now, we're into spring. There's more population movement. There's more you know, people going out and traveling. And more opportunities to spread the virus COVID isn't gone. It's still there. And so my suspicion is that we're just seeing increased transmission due to increased population movement and contact. Nationally, researchers are seeing an uptick of COVID in wastewater surveillance at 150 sites, mainly in the Northeast. Lacrosse says it's still too early to tell whether the rise here is related, but he's not alarmed. I wouldn't say alarm, no. Uh, caution, yes, and keeping a close eye on it, which we're doing, also yes. But alarm, probably no, not yet. You can find the data for the wastewater treatment plant nearest you at wastewatervirus.covid.gov. For KSL 5 News, I'm Jed Bowl.